Happy day I'm glad- <laughs> Don't you just want to live in a fairy tale sometime and be a little fairy? A little birdie? This is what I would look like if I was a fairy. <laughs> These are those kinds of people. Look at this girl. She's feeding the squirrels as if she's a princess. She's got the snow white hair. How do they all trust her? There's no way she's met all of these before. Did you see the amount of birds that came? This makes me wonder if the squirrels trust you, do the squirrels talk to the birds? Like how did the birds know? It's like all of the wild animals were like, okay, we trust her, we're going in. And like, they all came. Like if there were deer, they would come. If there were crows, they'd be like, ah, ah, and they wouldn't be allowed because they make really ugly noises. But like how? How can I do this? Stop telling me that my white freckles don't look realistic. I'm not trying to look realistic, Karen. I'm trying to look like a mushroom so I can attract myself a cute fairy girlfriend. Who's complaining about this fairy's white freckles? Who did that? <laughs> Who's the idiot? Hey, bring out the idiots! I've never seen this before, and I really, really like it. I feel like I would look like I had some sort of rare skin disease with it, but she looks absolutely fantastic! This should be a thing! Whatever she's selling, I'm buying. I like the dream that she's living. She's living in a fairy tale. I want to be part of it. Hey, Moana, where's your husband? What? Oh, I am way too young to be married. Yeah, isn't she like 12? Oh. I said what I said. Oh. Didn't know that Cinderella was 19. Wait, but how, wait, how, how is Snow White that young? I've never thought about that before. I've never thought about that before. It's kind of like when I'm watching animes and I mean, they all look the same, right? So when you hear their different ages, you're just kind of like, okay, I just really didn't think that Ariel, 16? Girl, you gotta sort out your priorities. How is she? Just, how is she doing this so seamlessly? If it was like, in order to do this, you would have to exhale all of the air out of your lungs so that you don't float. Just from doing that, I'd be so winded and uncomfortable. She is just perfectly comfortably sitting there. How is her hair not doing like the water hair? You know, my hair would be like this. So like she went all the way down, waited until her hair came down, maybe even like went up a little bit for, okay, I'm so dumb. I was like, why are you wearing your glasses underwater? As if people are like able to see more underwater. This girl just lives in a fairy tale and it makes me mad. Oh, look at me in my toast and I'm watering my flowers and picking the strawberries. Oh, there's my mare. There's my bridge. There's my lake. I like to make some tea and toast. Do these perfect spins with a completely short dress, but my butt doesn't show because I am a princess. Good for you. I'm bitter because I'm jealous. Okay, the first step is admitting that you're jealous. I know a lot of people who don't want to admit they're jealous under any circumstance. They try to blame it on the other person. No, me? I'm jealous. She's got a good life going on here. Hopefully I'll join her someday. And maybe someday we can be together too. This is how I would do my nails if I was in a fairy tale. Like, huh? Huh? Nani? How did you freehand those? I can't tell you how many times as a little girl I've taken my nail polishes and I've tried to like French tip them freehanded because I thought that that's how you did it and I just made a mess everywhere. And then I went to the nail salon and I was like, okay, what machine do they use? They freehand it too, but with a more precise brush. That's just crazy. How is that possible? This is real. This is real. Like, what is that? Is that like the gateway to a fairy tale? Is that a hole in the ozone layer? That's a rainbow circle. There's no end to this rainbow. If there's no end to the rainbow, does that mean you're in it? Does that mean that you are in the right corner of the simulation? I like how the inner sky looks a little bit darker. What a crappy day out too. It's like, a, I hate when you travel and you're so excited to lay on the beach and it's a cloudy day. The first time I saw this, this girl like coming out of her like fairy tale curtain house like how high are those ceilings she's doing i'm getting ripped tonight and this guy's like no 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 i live in the fairy tale house look at that grand piano look at those stairs this is the railing that you're gonna come down in your dress and the prince is gonna be oh fantastic fantastic if he's french i he doesn't have to be french you know that you're a princess if you go, it's time for me to make my dress. Let's make something last minute. <laughs> Get the sewing done, do the cutting of the bodice. I'm so sorry for, for that. <clears throat> She's just doing it, cutting it, seamlessly filming it, doing it last minute. This is what she wore to prom. Hello? Gorgeous, that tattoo, perfect. The hair? 
perfect. Everything about this, oh my goodness, you look like a princess. It's weird how her name is lactose intolerant. I've never considered princesses having like issues that normal people have, like, you know, Snow White is lactose intolerant. Cinderella has, is allergic to grass and Moana's allergic to air, you know? Okay, tomorrow's prom, which means it's time to glow up. Okay, so she's gonna fix the roots. She's going in for, she's trying to do the transitions. And I, I feel like maybe hairstylists have gotten so much better since I was a kid, cause like that seamless transition, like using your natural hair color to make like a perfect shadow root. I couldn't get that when I was a kid. It just reminds me of perfect princess hair. Here we have two girls who look like princesses. They're singing a princess song that's probably copyright. Like what? I would love to roll up to the ball looking like this, especially with like the sister or the friend that looks just like me and we're just kind of having an Elsa and Anna moment and jealous. Sometimes I see these like really, really princess looking girls and then like they have a Russian name and I'm like, what? What's with all these Russian princesses? This girl is picking her dress. Um, ah! Be honest, you did not expect it to look that good. You didn't. You thought it was just gonna be a plain run of the mill dress, but no, this is full on princess. Huh? That crisp top layer, it just adds so much to it. If it fit better, I would get married in this thing. This would have to be more translucent. And actually the more I look at it, the more nervous I get. That's what she said. I I'm always afraid that like something really nice like this would look cheap on me, but it looks great on her. How do I put this simply? I'm a fairy. You look like one. Some of you are watching this video like, okay, yeah, like she's a fairy, she's cute, right? Like, okay, I thought she was gonna say like, I know some of you guys are watching this video like, how? Like, you're not a fairy, but she's like, I know some of you are agreeing with me. <laughs> Actually, I'm actually a fairy. Okay. I was never the type of person to see things, to see beyond the physical world, to see the spiritual world until recently when I've, you know, healed parts of myself that weren't accessible to those realms before. And when I'm telling you I see stuff, I see fairies all around me all the time. Um, hmm. This is a very spiritual person saying that she sees things and she's healed things and she's had access to different realms. I, personally, I can't relate, so I guess I have no opinion. After doing some spiritual digging, I come to find out that I'm a mother fairy queen. <laughs> and it just makes me so happy because they laugh and they're like, they're literally just like they are in the movies. They're like, pick it on me and stuff. And they're the other day, one of them was like, don't be so hard don't be so hard on her. It's cool to me that she is able to make this TikTok because she's so certain in what she believes. I feel like if I did this and I showed it to Terry, he'd be like, Don't you dare post that. Are you okay? I mean, hey, she lives in a fairy tale. And so does she. Oh! <gasps> Looking so good. I love the set. I love the props. Oh, she's that's a bed. They really went ahead and put a bed in the forest there. I wish they zoomed out just a little bit so I could see more of the bed, but then you wouldn't be able to see her face. This is why I can't take good pictures to save my life is because I'm like, I want it up close, but I want it far away. I want it far away so you can see everything, but I want you to be able to see my face up close. It just doesn't make any sense. She knows what she's doing. I like, I like the attention to detail here. It's cute. I like how she believes it, how she's doing her little thingamajiggers. And she's just looking, oh, her at is the real Snow White. Yeah, you're Snow White if you ask the, the age old question, why do I only look pretty while I'm pooping? Great questions, they des they definitely deserve answers. This is the fairy tale aesthetic. Oh. oh, the rolling hills. I don't know what it is about the rolling hills, guys, but like the rolling hills with the lake in the middle, someday, someday, someday I'm going to live in a situation that looks like this. I hope, I really, really hope so. But I hope that I don't get lonely out there. That's the thing, like I'm a big city girl, but that, but I just wanna look at the rolling hills. I want both. And for that, I will never be happy because there will always be some sort of vital sacrifice that I have to make to live in my fairy tale. I guess a lot of princesses had to make sacrifices to live in their fairy tales. Why is everything almost a sacrifice? I would do anything and I mean anything to be part of this world. Let me see. Part of your world. That's pretty, pretty. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Oh girl. Oh girl. Oh, you, you got the, this girl understands. She understands the aesthetic. Fairy core? <gasps> How did I not even know that fairy core is a thing? Uh, apparently fairy core is a thing. Fairy core grunge exists? What do you mean? 
No, this is like a little fairy tale like mushroom basket. I don't know what it is about the mushroom worship that goes on in like the cottage core aesthetic and the fairy tale aesthetic, but I really like mushrooms too. Like how cute is that? They're just like the cutest little shape and they do look like little houses and the fact that, you know, you get mushrooms sometimes of like different colors. It's just, they're like the perfect thing that grow out in the forest that just kind of make you feel a certain type of way, but don't eat them. Mm -mm -mm. Well guys, that was some human beings living their best fairy tales. I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what you think of this whole aesthetic because like every time I see something like this on the internet, I'm like, <laughs> me. I want to know if that's a thing that's just a me thing or if this is just how we all feel. Maybe we all like the hills and the uh, cute dresses and the cute mushroom. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm completely scatterbrained today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out the creators that were featured in this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye!